Hey Jubilee, my name is Lord and welcome back to Subnautica News. Now, this episode there is a ton of news happening right now. It's all to do with the Lost River and there's some other stuff as well to do with Trello that I need to show you a little bit later on. But for the moment, this bit of news is to do with the Lost River base, the secondary bio research facility. Uh, which is the one with the dead bug leviathan thing in it um, and various other uh, disturbing things. Now it has been essentially finished I believe um, there's a new Kara texture that's been added uh, and it's freaky, it's terrifying I have actually just had a look at it and it's actually gives me the creeps, it gives me the heebie-jeebies um, so yeah that's not nice, so I'll show you that um, and apparently there's a reveal animation for when you'll find out that you actually have it uh, properly and your player will realise that you have it. So at the moment I'm just heading towards the uh, Lost River facility. Okay, right, we'll head in. So there is a terminal right here. And I believe this terminal is an important one, so we will have a look. What's that? Device appears to hold alien research data. It seems that the alien civilization was facing a mass extinction event brought on by the bacterium. They established this facility to study the infection and possible cures in seclusion. Of the specimens on record, one of the only only one survived infection with the bacterium. The closest translation of their symbol for the specimen is Emperor. For some reason, this facility was insufficient to study the Emperor specimen, and it was instead contained within a purpose-built habitat somewhere else on this planet. While it is unlikely that the specimen in question is still contained within the facility, it is possible the alien researchers left behind information relating to the cure they were seeking. References to the Emperor containment facility in the data are scarce, but its location is suggested to be somewhere with volcanic activity at a depth of approximately 1,200 metres. There you go, that's a bit of information for you there. Yeah, okay, first off, actually, I'll show you the, uh, the new textures for the Karak, because it's terrifying. It makes it, your skin looks really cracked. It it, it kind of glows in different points. It's really terrifying. Does that not give you the heebie-jeebies? Luckily, our hands are identically symmetrical, so that's all right. But oh god, that gives me the freaks. It really, really does. I don't like the idea of having cracks in your skin. It's not nice. I'm gonna put it back to infect one. I mean, I don't like being infected. Okay. And let's head here. Back research bacteria profile. So this is just talking about the uh, the the emergency infection test returned positive. If results have been output to the data bank, you've been infected with an unknown waterborne bacterium. It is currently multiplying in your bloodstream. Estimated incubation time two weeks. Estimated survival chance nine percent. I've already read all this, so if you want to read it, you can pause the video. Okay. So, oh, good lord. Oh my. God! Oh, we can use this to scan the warper. Okay, that makes sense because it's going to be too difficult to scan the warper by self-warping quarantine enforcer units. Life form. This life form shows signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical grafting. Its digestive and pulmonary systems have been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly from this facility and distributing it around the body. Miniaturized phase technology has been implanted beneath the skin and is triggered by the central nervous system, allowing the cons construct to teleport at will. The brain and central nervous systems have been digitally aug augmented with advanced processing power and remote communications assessment program programmable hunter slash killer avoid. Good lord, that's terrifying. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing at high speed. Exterior wall impacted with massive force. Lifeform containment unit, unit 7 Leviathan eggs breached. General structural integrity compromised. Immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. 314 specimens destroyed. One specimen unaccounted for. Evacuating staff to off-site sanctuaries. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated at the following sites. Granted air quarantine enforcement platform. Power plant and primary containment facility. Warning, infected individuals may not leave the planet. Okay, and here we are. This is so. Is this is this contain seven? Is this number seven? Because if so, this is where the Leviathan eggs were. That's creepy. I think they've updated the textures on the bones. They look a lot more kind of 
I'm doled out, a lot older. I don't know though. These ones down here as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I want to work out how I can get the um, the infected animation. It might have been because I was messing around with the infection levels at the beginning. So I might quit and then rejoin and see if that lets me see if that lets me have a look at it. Oh, there you go. Well, that was slightly buggy because I wasn't actually infected. What is that noise? Can you hear that? Oh, it's this! So when I go underground, when I go underneath this, it's triggering the, um... Because that's the sound it makes. So because I'm close to it, but I'm under the ceiling, it's making the noise. Okay. So you saw a bit of the reveal animation. It wasn't particularly great because I didn't have any actual Karar on me. Uh, I'm assuming that shall be fixed in the future, but I think it's because I came straight here, but you're supposed to go for the gun first and all that. So yeah, next we're going to move on to the Trello stuff because there is uh, and a couple of YouTube clips because there's some really interesting stuff going on there. Okay, so this is the first thing right here. It's called data box animations, and these are the things that are going to replace the kind of grey safes. I did I did speak about them quite a while back. That's how it's going to work now. So it's pretty basic, but that's how you're going to get the data now for those leftover things. So that's pretty cool. And then I'm not entirely sure what this is. I was given it. By Cyber Lele. VFX Cy Cyclops Smoke 2. So I'm assuming this is for when the Cyclops is on fire or something like that. It's a really cool effect. So it gets heavier and heavier and thicker and thicker. And it seems. I don't know what would be causing the fire. Maybe this is when you go down to the lost. Uh, maybe this is when you go down to the lava zone without being properly equipped with a uh, with a heat resistance thing. Perhaps I don't know what would be causing this. Maybe it's damage. 0.7. Good God, it's thick. That's one. That is the that's the thickest setting. You cannot see anything. Okay, well, I'd like to see what you guys think that smoke would be caused from. Would it be, would it be due to the the heat of the the lava zone, perhaps, or is it something else? Is it the engine overheating? Is it damage on the thing? I don't know. So this next bit is there is a new HUD that they're thinking of implementing. I don't know if it's for definite yet or not, but this is how it's looking. Uh, it's on the side right here. You see it. Um, so that's the water, that's the food, that's the health, and that's the oxygen. It's a really, it, uh, it looks cool. It's very different to how it used to be. Uh, I think it actually looks, it looks cool because it's like a little bit more futuristic than just the bars. Takes up much less of the HUD as well, um, of, the, of the actual screen. So that that's pretty good. And then this is it, of course. Um, it, it's just the Trello card about it. This was the original plan. They've set it out in two different ways. I think this is a, this is new HUD preview two. I think the one we just watched was. Pro HUD preview one. A lot of people don't seem to like it, but I know I th I think I quite like it. It looks different to how it used to, and I like it for that. It looks very interesting and looks much more futuristic than it used to. See, I don't know. I think I like it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But that's pretty much it, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you're feeling really just subscribe to Crunchy's Day. But until next one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Try, my friends.